What is good? Welcome back. Welcome back. You 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 welcome back. Oh, you welcome back. You yeah. were out of town too. I was only in Charleston. You're back from Florida. I am. Great weekends all around. We've been talking. I had a great time trying to shake off some dust, but I think I came back more dusty because my feet got tore up and I turned my tub black. Oh, yeah, I was dirty. Yeah, that's tough. But it was your first time playing men's in a long time, like yeah. tournament wise. So yeah, and we welcome old, back. Old Luna and I didn't do too bad. Not too bad yeah, at all. Made a good little semis appearance. Oh yeah. Love to see that. Yeah, I didn't make it that far, but oh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Chucktown, like I said, went very good. Great turnout. I feel like Trump right there. And it was not, so good. Yeah. Okay. That did sound Mo- nothing yeah, like it. M- moving on. <laughs> uh, so, Revco, we played Saturday. Uh-huh. Revco was rough. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. But volleyball was played. We had a good time. We hopefully will come back bigger, stronger next time. I know what I need to work on. <laughs> we can all get better. It's all good. We can all get better. So here we go. Revco, our hometown boy Cody Tucker and Savannah Gonzalez took home the W in what was a combined men's and, well, I say men's and women's. It was co-ed. Duh. It was a combined double A and open Cody and Savannah brought home the W. I was talking to him Wednesday, yesterday. Um, I was talking to him about it, and he said that he had a blast. So it looks like he did. And winning is fun. Winning is always yeah. winning is always just so much better than losing. Mm-hmm, but your boy came fifth. Okay, yeah, uh, that's tough. Refco, oh, Refco A. That's what you were talking about. Yeah. Oh my man. Oh, that's like the second time he's fallen. We're gonna see how many times he falls. We'll stand he's a little back, back heavy. Refco. He's got some junk in his trunk, <laughs> like your boy. He's doing some squats. Oh yeah, yeah. Revco A Ali and Sydney battled it out, and they beat, I believe, it's her boyfriend John. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Hate to be in that car a right now. Rivalry right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm just kidding. Good for them. Never seen that man not smiling, John. Such great a nice guy. guy. But yes, Ali and Sydney won. Revco. A. Oh, yeah. And then down at Revco Double B, V. Sean Dillon, like we talked about, look out for him. We warned you. He brought it home with Haley Freeman. Love that guy. Really happy he could get it done. And I, 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 I think it's awesome that he plays with his juniors, trying to like get them used to that outdoor and the indoor world. That's so, right. Get them some experience. Acclimated. Outdoor makes you better. Of course. And it's just better. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're a little biased, but you know. Men's open. Are you ready for this? I am. So ready. Hit me. I paid John and Luke. Oh, yeah. It was foreshadowed last week. It was. It was. And you were like, you know, I pay this guy a lot of money, and, you know, you did it again. And it is what it is. They're both very, very good. Yeah, y'all are welcome. Also, got to play them in pool play. That was a great time. A lot of fun. Always fun. Like I said, Luna and I, we lost in semis. It was a hard-fought battle. I watched that game, and y'all look like y'all are playing good, though. Well, that was my worst game. Oh. Maybe. 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 I don't know. I didn't see the other ones. Yep, but you got to believe what I say, because yep. I told you. Yep. Uh, women's Open, Ella and Michaela, they won. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Four teams. Four teams. That, yeah. That's not bad, though. Not, not too bad. Four teams is four we're gonna, teams. We're going to get better, yeah. A little, little bit more teams sign up. It'll be a little bit more competition. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. SmackDown's coming up, so SmackDown, sign up for the bums, please. Yeah. Sign up for the bums. Yeah, we're we got a tournament in uh, March, two weeks. So yeah, literally two weeks. It's coming up. Mm-hmm. Get ready. But men's double A, Heath Henry and Tillian took home the W. Tillian? Yes. Oh he's back. wow, he is back, and he. Yeah, I love Heath. Heath yes. is so funny. Congrats to them. Congrats men's to double them. A, women's double A, Brittany and Hannah. Two big powerhouse hitters took home women's double A. There you go. Yeah, it was very fun to watch. I enjoyed watching them. Brittany's back. Also had had an injury, but she's back. Glad she's back. Yep. Men's A, Cody Cariello and Javier. Oh, there you go. They took home the W, and then looking right next to them, women's A, Morgan and I believe I'm saying this right, Danny, Denai, 
So, that sounds yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, congratulations to them. They brought home the W. Men's double B, Oscar and Kenneth. Nice. Yes. Don't sleep on Oscar. That man, I mean, it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, Oscar is pretty good. Yeah, he, he's. I believe he's beaten you a couple times. Maybe. We won't talk about it. We won't talk Women's about it. Women's double B, <laughs> Madison and Colleen. Taking home the W. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to them. And then a bunch of juniors showed out. Love seeing the juniors out there. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about juniors, but congrats to all the yeah. juniors. Congrats to the juniors. If you're a junior, like I said last week, sign up for the Bums Tournament. That's right. We March 16th, 17th. Please. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Yeah. But like we said, don't have a tournament this weekend. Don't have a tournament this weekend. Unfortunately. I keep whacking my head on this, but you know what we do have this weekend? A break. Yes. Much needed after only two weeks. My body needs it. Oh, yeah. Well, I feel good after playing. Well, I was playing beach this weekend. I feel but good. But do you feel good? Does your skin feel good? I got cooked. I um, heard. Yeah. I got fried. I'm in the peeling stage right now, so it's like every time I move, it's like sandpaper. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. How bad did it hurt? It hurt really bad. I couldn't sleep. Like So I was every time I would go to like lay down, I'd have to stay in one position because mm. every time I moved, it was like my body was on fire. I, b- I believe we have some a little, little picture. Yeah, we do have a picture. Uh, right there. Mm. I don't wow. know. How you work your editing magic. But I don't know. I'm looking right at dude. It's, oh like, my gosh. It's really rad. That is that is really bad. Um. So yeah. Uh, make fun of me in the comments because I deserve it. Uh, I didn't. I did put on sunscreen. Sorry, yeah. mom. I did. Um. But, you Apparently know, not enough. Not enough. And it was windy, so it low-key might not have even all gotten on me. So, sorry, Mom. Mm. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. It'll turn into a nice tan. Yeah, so, like we said, we put out a poll. We did, we did. We got some questions. We're going to take the next bit of time to kind of answer these questions. Oh, yeah. We may not get to all of them. If we don't get to all of them, you know, there's, we'll, we'll, answer we'll be time. back. Yeah, we'll yeah. answer them another time. Um, Let's see. What, what do we want to start with first? I'm looking... Hmm. Will you be? Oh, this is from Matthew. Will you be dropping jerseys to match the slunks? I hope everybody likes the slunks. Everybody who's seen them so far. We got we got some people who pre-ordered. We got some people who have post-ordered. Oh they've, yeah. They've come to our tournament. and They bought some. I've seen a lot of people rocking them around. Both uh, vlogs I've put out. We got some some people playing. I saw you and your partner down in Florida were rocking. The uh, the bomb slunks. We, we love were. to see that. Yeah, we were the only two people in Florida with them on, so that was kind of Boom, exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. Everyone was like, "Yo, where'd you get those slunks?" And I was like, "I know a guy. Dude. Yeah, I know a guy. Come on." But to answer the question, um, we kind of already have one. Yeah, we got, we got some blue ones, some black ones out there. We need to order some more for sure. Yeah, because we're sold out of those. Yeah, we are. So, so you know what that means? We're in the works. Be on the lookout. Oh yeah, you never know what's coming. Please. I don't even know what's coming. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We're just playing it by ear. But here you go. I, I was looking forward to answering this question. Uh, this oh, I just closed that out. Here we go. This is from Strange Dog Groomer Four. Oh, I believe that's Emily. Okay, Emily Gramet. Gramet. I, b- I believe so. Okay. I love love the the title right there. But yeah. um, who is your favorite player to watch, guy and girl? Okay. I'm hoping she's talking about amateur because I don't watch pros. All I watch is amateur. No, I'm kidding. She's I'm assuming she's talking about pros. My guy has retired. I think we have the same guy, honestly. But yeah, I for anyone who knew me or has known me, I even had the same hairstyle. I got it all cut off. But it may come back one day. We don't know. But Casey Patterson love him. was my guy. Oh yeah. That was my guy. I now, love that guy. Now I'd probably have to go, hmm. We, I found a new guy at uh, this past Atlanta tournament, the AVP Atlanta. I, I became a big fan of Miles Evans. Oh, oh yeah. I, I like that guy. He was so nice, too. Yes. Whenever we were talking to him, like you could just tell. like Very I mean, genuine. Very, very genuine guy. Um, He's up there for me, too. My favorite, mm-hmm. if it's not Casey Patterson, since you already said that, I like Taylor Crabb. Yeah. Um, just because. Some would say he's pretty good. Yeah, he's, he's all right. But um, <laughs> just the fact that like he's always the smallest guy on the court and is still that good is very, very inspiring. So I just love watching him get after it. He's probably my favorite guy. And then girl. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, hit, hit me with your girl. I, oh gosh. 
I have always liked watching Zanamuno. Oh, I knew I knew you were going knew you were going there. Defensive oriented. Yep. And she's electric. She, very, she very energetic. Electric, so. But you really want to know who is electric and in my opinion, one of the best in the sand right now. Give it to me. I'm a defensive person, so I gotta go with the only Kristen Nuss. Kristen Nuss, yeah. That's obviously. I mean TKN. Oh, there he goes again. Dude, he's just gonna have to sit down. He's ready to be done with TKN, this. TKN, they're probably I mean easily top two, maybe top two not two on the women's tour mm-hmm. right now. Um and they are just powerhouses. Yes. She's by far my favorite to watch in the sand just because she gets to everything and I mean she's at the top right now. So yeah. excited to watch her oh, yeah. and her partner. Hopefully hopefully go compete for a medal in the Olympics coming up this summer. So, next question. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I let this man down. I DM'd him directly. Back at Chucktown, I failed. Uh-oh. I had to ref finals. Oh, Men's open no. finals. Did you leave? No, I did. I, I stayed. Oh, okay. I was there. I wouldn't know I wasn't there. Luna did most of the refing. I packed up the car and then came and stood with him. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did not do was I did not set a camera up and record an Ooh. awesome men's open finale. The first set went, I believe it was 28 to 26. That's a lot of volleyball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John Brady asked, how come you didn't record any of the finals, one of the best matches of the tournament? That's on me. It's okay. Mistakes were made. That's literally what I told him. Were made, but also learning experience. So, hey, John, next time we got you. That's right. I I will I will do better. I will remember. And yeah, yeah. Um, I put out a poll on my Instagram. I got. Would you get asked? Two responses. We love that. Um, so thanks for those two responses. Uh, one of them is only a question. There's only one of them that's a question. So I'm gonna read this one. Um. Why does it always go from beautiful and sunny to rainy, windy, and frozen back to beautiful all in one day in South Carolina tournaments? Um, Because, yeah. Yeah. We don't really know, Um, but we struggle a lot with weather. And, you know, if y'all came to a bum sermon last year, y'all knew that it was just a lot of rain. Oh, you came time. prepared for everything. You better have packed a bathing suit. A tank top, also your long johns and some sweatpants and possibly a ski mask. Yeah, it gets cold, and I mean, like it was still pretty cold this February tournament, mm-hmm. but it at least wasn't raining. It, now it would have been did miserable. Not rain. It didn't rain on us. It did not. But um, I got one. Okay. The Alex Hutton asked, oh. "Tell us about your first ever grass tournament." Oh, I can give a very brief. Overview. Mine is a very extensive story, but I'm going to try and keep it to basically, I'm just going to overview it real quick. But here we are. Clash. About four and a half, five years ago, something like that. First ever tournament. I was told with my brother as well, you know, hey, y'all come play in a volleyball tournament. It's a lot of fun. You'll fall in love with it and you'll never stop playing, which that, that was true. But here we go. I sign up along with my brother and this other guy that could jump Super high, get his chest up above the net, had that good old just basketball form swing. So, you know, he's just straight arm, tearing his shoulder and all that jazz. But we're like, all right, let's sign it for men's B. Lowest division, we're athletic, we'll go run that junk. We get out there, you know, we're feeling good. See our net. We got two old guys, one of their daughters. They're probably like in their 60s. And then one of them has got a, you know, 18 year old daughter. We're like, all right, that's an easy win. Got two other dudes, clearly have no athletic ability. He's tired. He's going to lay down. Yeah, he's just going to stay there. We're like, all right, we can, we can take them. And then we got one other team. Uh, they, you know, they looked all right. We're like, all right, that might be our only loss. So we start playing. Played the one team that we were like, okay, we could lose them. Yeah, we lost both. Okay, yeah, lost both. I don't think we scored over 10 points. It oh, happens. it did. So then, you know learning all right we go play the second team with the uh two non-athletic people we're like all right we should beat them should lo and behold their third was the best setter all around his name was logan galloway mm. he was definitely sandbagging 
Sandbagger. Homeboy could set like none other. Yeah, he kind of backpacked them. They they beat us. Again, we didn't score over 10 points. It's unfortunate. Yeah, last game of the day, though. Guess what? Last match, we got to go play the 60-year-old men and uh, their daughter. Give like, surely, surely we're going to get this one. Good news? Mm-mm. mm that was the worst yeah. beatdown I've ever experienced in volleyball. Yeah, those old guys are crafty. They ended up going on to win the tournament. Ooh. Yeah. Fell in love with the game right there. Yeah. Very humbled. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, my first tournament was a December Chucktown two years ago, um, and I rode down with you. I was playing with my buddy Caleb Gardner, and, um, you know, we played. Not well. Uh, very similar to my first very, experience. Very, very similar. Went over, <laughs> over on the day, but it's all right because we went to right. Chili's afterwards. Yeah, so we did. It was okay. Loser party of five. Loser party of five at Chili's. And I mean, loser party, it always makes you feel a little bit better. So. Yeah, it does. But I was very sad. It, it happens. It happens. But here, here's another very similar question What is the origin story of the volley bombs? This is from. John Thawn, he's got he's got the man known by many different names, yeah, man of many, many names. different style of play as well. Loved watching him play at our Bums tournament. Looking forward to seeing him again. But yeah, he wants to know what's the origin story of the Volley Bums. So the origin story of the Volley Bums essentially was born on that day when we took all the L's and we decided that we were going to play this sport. We're going to get good at this sport, and we're going to put a lot of money into it because that's just what we love to do. And it became, I think, about a year later, we decided, you know, we should we should start filming ourselves and we should make it, you know, a little hobby and start traveling around and bring a camera with us. So we started vlogging. And I believe my buddy John and I, we went and played at the ECA tournament down in Myrtle Beach. Uh, that is actually coming up. Shout out Ethan Atkinson. That's right. And it was our first episode, first vlog. I remember driving... Uh, I think we were driving to the beach and we we're trying to come up with a name. We were talking to my brother. We got him on the phone as well. We bounced some names off of each other and we we're like, you know, volley. It needs to be volley something. And at the time, I didn't really have a job. John didn't really have a job. My brother didn't have a job. I'm like, yeah, we're, we're a bunch of bums. There you have it. And so it was born. Yeah. And I'm still a bum. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's a story. I joined, like, I just kind of, like, hopped in. What? I, so I've known Austin and Adam since I was probably, what, like, three or four. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a, a long time. It's been a long time. Um, and after I got done playing football in high school, uh, they invited me to come play pickup on Wednesday, and I came out, and I just kind of fell in love with it. And, you know, now I'm just kind of the bum that travels around with the bums. We're all just bumming yeah, it together. Yeah, we're all just bums, so... Uh, that's how I got into it, and I'm, I love it. So I'll say it is definitely a, a great vibe, a great time, and we recruited a new bum this past weekend. I had our boy Xavier come down just to film, and I believe he was walking around because I heard it on camera a couple times while I was editing. A couple people, oh, they got you now. Oh yeah. Uh, once you're in, you're in. We got him, ladies got and gentlemen. Him. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that guy. He's. I mean, he's always down to help out, and like that's what's awesome about him. Love having him around. Just such a nice guy to be around. So. Oh, yeah. And one of his good buddies, I got Sean Willian, sent us a message. Used to be a Columbia guy. Now he's down at uh, the good old Chuck Town down in Charleston. He asked, should you look at slash four, the defender or blocker, when preparing for offense? So I guess as you're going to attack the ball, what should you look at, the, the blocker or, or the defender? What, what, do you, what do you look at? I try to look at where the defender is personally, and uh, that might be wrong, but you know sometimes it works out. And because most of the time the blockers like crouch super low, so if I can look at the defender and see where the defender is, I can kind of spot out where the holes in the defense are. Because I'm I like hitting a lot of shots. I don't really swing all that much, so I like it. I'll I'll go ahead and give a little bit of tidbit of what I like to do. A lot of times I'm a big eye person, so I like I like reading. That's why I love defense because I get to sit back and if I got a good blocker in front of me, I, I get to just sit and read everything. When I'm attacking a ball, normally as the set is coming out of my partner's hands or as my partner's setting it, I like to see how they're setting up their defense. So, you know, I like to, I like to look at the defender first. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once that set goes up, 
my eyes kind of transition and I start looking for the block. Yeah. So as the blocker's hands, like this past week, I'm going to throw him under the bus a little bit. Not, not really. Guillermo, high flying dude. Hands Very got right in the way a lot of times. And that's, that's one of the things that I was kind of looking for as I'm in the air and I was, you know, just either tooling around them or hitting around them, trying to go high hands over. But a lot of that also stems off of knowing where that defender started mm -hmm. and then kind of feeling where the block goes after knowing where that defender was. Exactly. Like, but reps. Yes, reps. Kind of like, I also, the way I can describe it is like, kind of as you're jumping, feel the presence of the block. Mm -hmm. Like, so not even like looking because once you're in the air, I can still kind of like, I can feel where that blocker is going. So that, that helps a lot. It's exactly. just getting a feel for it, but which, a lot of reps. Which speaking of blocking, that transitions us to our next question. Riley Cross asked, what are some tips to help be better at blocking and or doing an effective peel? Ooh. So a little fun fact. I'm actually, he's yeah. on the club team. Shout out Riley. Um, but I'm leading a practice like right after this, right after we're done filming this. And that's what we're going over is blocking and peeling. So, um, an effective block. I mean, really you don't have to be huge to be an effective block. Like I'm not the biggest blocker, but you know, I get touches and I block a ball and, um, like same with you. You're not like a full-time blocker, but like you're still good at blocking. It's mainly just trying to take away something. Mm -hmm. You're trying to take away something on the court. And whenever you're good at taking away something, that makes the defender job so much easier. So being a good blocker isn't necessarily you're blocking everything. It's mainly you're just taking something away for the defender. But then if you can go get it, go and get if, it. If you can, I mean, whatever your name is, roofing company, to get up there and just house that thing, is, oh, it always feels good. Oh, yeah. But then I'll talk to you about a little effective peeling. I always, 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 always see the set. Identify where that ball's going. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to peel and that ball gets chucked right up to the net. And then we got a 50-50 ball and you're getting bounced in the face and they're telling you, you got to scoot up. What are you doing? Why are you peeling? You know better. All the good lingo they, they like to throw at you. See the, see the ball set. And then from there, if you see, oh, they're about to attack this ball from five feet back, well, yeah, go ahead. Make a peel. Peel with your call. Normally that makes the life of the defender a whole lot easier. So always try to peel if you're calling angle. Go ahead and peel into the angle. If you're going to block line, go ahead and just peel to the line. But running an effective peel, you always want to see the set, see where that ball's going, and then from there, get back. And when you get back, you don't want to slowly get back. You want to turn your hips, open up, stay. try to keep your shoulders to the play. Don't ever turn and never see the play. But try to get to a spot. I normally try to take about three to four steps back off the net and then try to get square by the time the ball is being hit so that way I can still make any kind of play on the ball. But then as you're peeling as well, especially if you get caught late, get your hands up. Oh, please, please get your hands up. Never want to take the ball off the face. Don't want to get handcuffed down low. It's been happening many times. I spent a lot of money on some Oakleys. Hopefully one day we'll get that sponsorship. Hopefully. But luckily they break and I can put them right back together. Oh, yeah. But I have taken fun. too many balls off the face because keep my hands have been down low. The hula hoop. You got to keep right. them here so you can just. That's what you taught me whenever I was trying to learn. Oh, yeah. Always hula hoop. I, I just found the questions. I just I found, you go. figured out how to pull them up. Um, so, Alex Minnick. Hey, Alex. Mm. Uh, favorite tournament to play? Question mark. To host? All right. So, I don't get to play my favorite tournament anymore because it's actually my favorite tournament to host. But my favorite tournament that I used to get to play in was the Clash. 100%. Hands down. Hands down. Loved playing at the Clash. Now I get to host it. So that is my favorite tournament to host. I love seeing all the people come. We got friends from all over that we've gotten to meet. I'm um, looking forward to seeing them coming up here pretty soon. But that's my that's my favorite to play I, in and to run. I agree. Um, and like you know, obviously, like I kind of help. I help set up for those tournaments, but I get to play w at least one day. And I just, I love that was my first ever time going to a, a tournament and just like even watching was watching you guys play the Clash before y'all started running it. And um, other than that, I love Pottstown was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Pottstown, like just the vibe was awesome. But then the Clash, sign up for the Clash, by the way. Um, it's just. Such such awesome! It's what they call the grass tour. Calls it the family reunion. Oh of yeah, volley, of volleyball. So oh yeah, just one big old family reunion. Love that. 
I'll say, looking at my next question, Epic Joy Volleyball hit us with three. I love oh, it. Oh, I love Epic Joy. Such a yeah. nice guy. Guess what? You can look out for him coming to the class. He's going to come take some pictures of oh. all the people, so be on the lookout for I him. I didn't know that. That's there right. You go. Prim is the man. Epic Joy Volleyball. They do it right. He is the, I've, I've, I've dubbed it to him, he is the photographer of outdoor volleyball. 100%. Really, almost every picture I see online of a grass tournament is it came him. from yeah it came from him and even like Atlanta AVP Atlanta I mean he's there taking pictures that's too. right and he, he's I mean the he's man. courtside he's got the best seat out of everybody he is the man but he asked us three questions I think I'm gonna save two for next week okay I'm gonna save those top two okay. so the question that we're gonna go with right now is what can we look forward to from the volley bums in 2024 what you can look forward to is tournaments 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 a lot of tournaments and then I've been in the lab been cooking I got some merch coming oh that's right merch drop coming soon that's right we got some new ideas we are still formatting everything we're still picking colors finalizing designs but people have been asking for stuff we don't have it all yet but we are trying to get some of the new ideas that we have out to the people so y'all can start repping some more of this beautiful merchandise right here oh yeah i mean i've seen some of the designs and it's some heat i'm looking forward to what y'all think about it um i mean some other stuff y'all can look forward to i mean this podcast we just started doing this so i mean we're gonna try and do this every week throughout the the more questions we get too the more we get to talk about yeah and i don't know 26 27 minutes right now like i don't know if y'all want it to be any longer or not but i mean i mean i love personally if y'all want us to shut up and stop talking you just let us know yeah but hopefully it's not bad. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah, hope not. Um, then obviously you got vlogs coming out. Yeah, for the, the vlogs. We go to. Man, it's been a long time. We it dusted has. off the cobwebs, and that camera's back out and back in action. I'm excited. Um, TikToks. We're on TikTok now. Yeah. Go check out our TikTok. Uh, I think we only have 18 followers right now. I posted one uh, today. But I saw that. I think it's got like not 75 likes now. So yeah, it's pretty good. I liked it. We asked some questions. We're trying to get we're trying to get back up there for the people trying to get more inter- involved with the people, interact with everybody. I've got a new little setup on the uh, gimbal, so as we're walking around, you're going to see two cameras coming at you. Don't freak out. If you don't know which one to look at, you just pit, you just look right at me. Yeah. I'll be right in the middle. Always keep eye contact. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, like, we just, we love seeing y'all, so. I'm about saying, I'm looking forward to getting out, getting around, and coming to a tournament near you. I got one more question for you. Okay, I got one more answer. Right. Chunk Reeves. Chunk Reeves. Asked, who is the best dancer at these outdoor tournaments? I know what he wants us to say, but there's so many good answers. There really are. I mean, there's just an infinite amount of people that you could talk about. I mean, Chunk, you're a good dancer, dude. Bryce Foxworth, great dancer. He does the same move every vlog. Oh, yeah. Iconic. All right, yeah. Turn around. Does the shirt thing, if he's got something? Kiss. If he's got yeah. something to say on the shirt, he's he's showing us. Yeah. He's doing the turnaround, finishes with the kiss. I don't know, sometimes you'll catch the bones. You'll catch me, you, and Adam yeah. going at it. Sometimes Just a little bit. You know, yeah. we got to break a little jig. Yeah, sometimes when we're excited. That's right. Vacation Mike hit us with a little bit. Yeah, love Vacation Mike. He's a good dancer. Who else? I mean, Chunk, dude, you're a good dancer too, man. Don't don't think don't think you're not. You're a great dancer. That's right. But you know what? As always, that's all we got. That's all we got. And you just got checked in. We'll see.